as leaders, when we understand that and we're able to build into people, to build people up rather than tearing them down, we're going to have much greater success. What do we call a leader that leads by fear? We call them a temporary leader. As soon as someone can find a better deal, they're out of there. So the greatest leadership happens where we cultivate and build up and we cheer for people and root for them and help them to grow as people. That's true, authentic leadership. The best thing that senior executives can do is twofold. One, to take care of themselves. Clearly, they have to be at the top of the game, and this day is all about the individual techniques that they can use. But two, equally importantly, it's modeling that behavior to their employees, to their company. It's creating the culture that this type of activity is okay, and in fact, it's an investment that the company can take as a whole to change the culture to a productive and an exciting one. I think it starts with assessment. So first of all, I think you have to have a baseline. If you do an assessment of your overall population and say, what are my critical health risks? What are my people suffering from in terms of chronic disease or where are they heading in terms of chronic disease? And then you can start to put programming in place that get them more physically active, that get them sleeping better, that get them eating nutritionally. So all of those things combine to produce healthier employees down the road. So it's realizing you can't be everything to everyone all of the time and perhaps in balancing your family demands and being a mother and being an effective leader, being an employee, being a partner, being alone, is that if you can be unique in each one of those experiences and fragment and learn how to create that balance. You have your kid in daycare, perhaps you have the ability to watch them over webcam in their daycare while you're trying to create a report. Is that actually being effective and doing it all? versus knowing I'm trusting my child's in a good place, I have a report to do, I'm gonna finish that report and then I'm gonna pick them up. And challenging yourselves in an era where we can always be connected to actually deconnect yourself and try to be authentic in each of your experiences. When we're faced with stress, the body goes through an incredible transformation, both biochemically as well as in its physiology. There's a lot of power there. And if we can teach people how to effectively harness that power, then they can build an incredible resilience to stress. And through the concept of mental fitness, help them better appreciate the impact that their day-to-day -day decisions have on their health and their peak performance.